once once we select the Dynamics 365 uh, apps there, there is this, this install app solution. So of course we want to have um, previous operations installed. In this case, uh, I already did it, so you can already see that it's installed, but um, I managed um, to, to get the screenshot afterwards. So in general, um, in that, we can go back maybe for a second, in that overview here, install app, then you will get an overview here on the right hand side, and then you can just select project operations and it will um, install on top of project service automation and um, we'll run through that and will as well uh, perform all of these quality checks. Um, all of these quality checks basically then later are tracked down in your system. So even though um, some of these checks are failing during the installation, it, it is not too bad because you do have everything well documented. And um, I really want to highlight that because uh, I, I started in a time where like every every update was a nightmare scenario. And um, in the meanwhile, it is really, really smooth and, and it works like on the second click at least, um, if not even on the first. So it's it's very well documented and you can see like all of these um, all of these checks running and as well, even though if one of the checks is failing, um, it will, of course, um, stop the installation. You will get this um, error basically in the, five, in the first like five to 10 minutes of the installation. So you don't need to wait like a day or something till you get this error message. It happens pretty quickly on the start. And you as well get the um, affected project tasks or projects, for example with their name and the GUID and, and what is wrong with them. So you get like basically all the information you need um, in order to um, proceed with the with the upgrade and it comes in very handy. Um, once once all of this upgrade is, is taken through, um, you do see um, that there is um, one little message. If you open up a project again, say, and that says, this project is upgraded from a previous version of project operations, navigate to the tracking uh, to view the tasks right here. And if we do so, and uh, we are checking maybe first our task section right there, uh, we can see that this is externally managed. So I cannot see my beautiful project for web interface, which I, which was the main reason I upgraded. Uh, give me that back. So what happens is. Um, it basically moves all of these legacy WBS um, information to the tracking panel right there. And um, you need to manually convert that project uh, to project for the lab, basically, that it can use that integration. And that happens with that little guy over there. So there's this little convert button here. And uh, once you click that, um, you will get the ask if you if you want to do that, <laughs> if you're really sure you want to migrate to Project for Lab because there is no no turning back. So once once you get there, it's fine. You will but you will never go back. So it's it's just like you live there now. And uh, once you click the button, you do get the wonderful interface for the um, uh, Pax Web or Project for the Web interface right there in Project Operations. Um, for your customer or if your customer um the the main situation i could see now in the first um migrations we performed with our colleagues there is that we do have a lot of course we do have there's some customizations and there are like some extensions for manual calculation or manual rules on for example projects or project tasks these needs to be then moved on to project operations and then work with their api because um what happens inside that frame here for project for the web um, is not longer than handled directly on the um, CDS side, but it's done handled via an API. So we need just to to switch that lane a bit with as well our customization and go into the director into that direction. As well, what is important is that uh, in case you do have for a custom form, for example, um, for the project, or you may even customize the um, original 
or coming from Microsoft side, uh, you need to set these back or go back to the um, vanilla uh, project operations project form because um, that control here, of course, is new, so it's nearly embedded and um, you want to have that on the form for sure. Um, I think that's all the details about the migration so far. Uh, we're good in time as well. Um, there's there's one more thing. So there's a timeline um, till you till Microsoft basically want to upgrade everyone to bridge operations because then of course it is easier to support and to focus uh, team wise on the on the next steps and things like that. Um, Till you till you have that, so I think this is in October next year. Till you have that, um, you still have the option to use PSA on a regular basis. So there's as well, even though your license are running out, there is to be there's the option to um, to downgrade basically your licenses from pretty versions to PSA 